So let's start with the heart. The important thing with theology is it's really easy to become intellectual about it. And we're not called to be Christian eggheads who can spout a bunch of facts in the Facebook comments. We're called to be disciples, to live out the theology that we teach and that we know. We don't want to become, as Michael Reeves puts it, theological thugs who are beating people up with our knowledge. Not the goal. So that's why it's so important to keep intimacy with God front and center. Relationship with Him, both for ourselves and also for our listeners. We want them to know that doctrine is leading them to devotion, which we'll touch on in a minute. The truths about God are meant to cultivate a heart for God, not just to have more facts about Him. It's meant to cultivate adoration and worship and a fear of the Lord which is the blessed assurance of his affection for us. So if we cultivate this relationship first, everything we teach theologically will align with that heart. And that's where we want to start and where we want to end. Secondly, preach up so they grow up. I love this quote by Charlie Dates. A lot of women probably feel a little intimidated by theology, by the idea of it. And many are told that they don't need it because they're not going into ministry. But we know that everybody needs it because we already have a theology. So we need to know whether that theology matches up with what scripture teaches. So don't buy the lie that women don't want robust theological content. They crave it. And I've seen this over and over again in my own ministry, Every Woman a Theologian. We have seen how women get excited about it and even talk about it with their husbands and bring their husbands into that excitement of seeking to understand the Bible better. Most women just assume that they don't need theological content because they've been told that. And the reality is that they do need it. And once they realize that, they rise to the challenge. When you preach to the level that you expect a woman can understand that she's capable of, you'd be surprised how they grow up to that level. Now, here's the flip side of this. We don't want to present this robust theological teaching in such academic wording and with a certain tone or presentation that's so foreign, they do feel intimidated. There's a way to present theological teaching that's approachable, fun, engaging, and relatable. Things you can do are to use story, the stories we see in scripture, the historical accounts, but also the accounts of heroes of the faith throughout church history. There's such a rich legacy for us to pull from there. You can use stories from your own personal life of walking out the theological principle or whatever you're teaching from scripture. You can also utilize your tone and inflection. You can use pauses and change how you are presenting the information so that you engage the hearer um, through their ears, through their eyes. Utilize cross-references in scripture. Take them on a journey through the Bible. Have them flip along with you as you teach. Show them where these theological concepts are found. That kind of adventure, that kind of challenge pulls women in, and it shows them that they are as much a part of this as you are. Theology isn't just for teachers. It's not just for seminarians. It's for them too. And lastly, connect to biblical literacy. So to be biblically literate, it's kind of just like being literate in general. It's being able to read and apply the principles that you read. To be able to read the Bible and apply the principles that we see there. This requires consistent exposure to the Word of God in its correct context. So our encouragement should always be that women remain in Scripture itself. Obviously, many of us are writing books or resources to help them grow in their faith, but our ultimate goal is to push them to the Bible itself. Theology without biblical literacy, without a housing and the beauty of scripture itself, can quickly become that compassionless pursuit of the theological thug. And we don't want that to happen. So biblical literacy helps women make connections between what they see in the Bible and the theological concept and how that applies to their daily life. 
What's the point of all this? Doctrine leads to devotion. Yes, devotional books are wonderful. I have actually written one. So of course, I hope that people read it. But doctrine and studying who God is, what the principles are about him, what his attributes are, how salvation works, or what happened at the atonement on the cross, studying those things actually brings us to a deeper devotion and intimacy with God. I have seen this happen over and over with the women that I teach. As we break down these concepts about salvation, we suddenly find ourselves worshiping the Lord for how good he is and how good he was in giving us Jesus Christ. Doctrine leads to devotion, and by teaching women to appreciate theology, we hand them a key to discernment, but we also hand them an opportunity for walking closer with God.